speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Hell, Doc, you put it like that. I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. Okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc. They're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. But they won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Things have really been up and down, Doc. One minute I'm fine, the next I'm Fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. Um, except? There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report, not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress. See? Treatment works when you try. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking wife has been fucking fucked. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael. Which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive. Obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. That was a five for what four minutes? Ugh. Anyways, this is where the D was. Maybe it disappeared because I got too close. Alright, we'll fly over to the B then. Maybe to come back now. Let's just take off. Go to the deal, it looks like, anyways. Mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh you! Finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. So why can't you make this shit is for me, homie? My life's already way to fuck out of control. Alright, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, alright? Some prosper and some struggle. Now are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break! Choose! Now are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'll get to a wheel, homie. Wow. Anyways. Chopper's gone. Tell her, see how pretty that girl was? Why can't you have it like that on online? I made some ugly character creations. 
It's horrible. Whoa. Nice car. Whoa! <laughs> but, let's get over here. What am I supposed to do now? Boost some cars. Uh, just sell them this one. Alright. God, is there a way out there? I got a race. Get them pulled over by fake cops and then jack your wheel. That's good cars. Okay. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does this hey, like How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. You were just getting out of here anyway. Alright. Oh, wow. That was easy. My God, <laughs> this is leaving me. I got this. Oh, special. That was a special. There we go. Come on. Ooh. Pass this guy. Pass it, pass it. I can't pass him. I keep up with him though. Really? What did you slow down for? Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat in a few seconds. Got it. <laughs> Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> <laughs> he know that. Oh, snow. This is awesome. Bikes suck. 
I mean, the, the bikes. It's slow. Our patients will be rewarded. Stay with them. Good things come to those who wait. How you doing, T? We gotta hang in there. I can't do I hope so, because I can't do anything. Stay on them, T, they'll stop eventually. Freaking deer, man! <laughs> this is awesome. It's about time. Chips. You know how fast we're going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Yes, yes, it is. Get out. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! God! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow, staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Well, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, I stacked it! Seriously, I just hit the side of that rail. Lady from before, Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right. Okay. I don't think I've ever. I'm not sure if I've ever driven this car or not. It's tricky. Though. I'm just. Man, I'm gonna be mission fail if I total this thing. <laughs> no. Seem to be too happy about that. Whatever. The only thing to figure out now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? I wouldn't write me off just yet. The lead horse always burns out before the end. Hey, look. 
Devin Weston. He ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to bust cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Uh -huh. yeah, maybe. Something like that. Oh, gotta beat him. Gotta focus. No! Like? What do you mean? There we go. Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional <laughs> woman who's doing a job, and we'll leave it at that. No, Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the <laughs> fuck would have thought? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boo! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cards. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howard. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howitt. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Mike, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. See the butt on that girl? Woo! <laughs> that girl tried to close on him. So we got needed for this. So I have to switch to them to get that one done. I fought the law. Follow the leader. Split second. Bus pass. Can squeeze. Go! 80%. It's not bad. I'll take it. Oh, let's see. You got D down there. And you got a... Uh, 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 that's the other thing I got selected. I guess I'll go over there since I already got it selected. Damn. Oh, snap. They gonna start shooting now? 